Hi guys and welcome back to another best possible squad builder by myself Bates and 87 Today we are building the best possible England team available to you on FIFA 14 Ultimate Team. This means it's available to all Xbox users because of the PlayStation not having legends. Also, the last time we built this team it did feature a 95 rated card and as you know guys we are unable to access that because it is actually locked to the player's account and uh, unless we borrow the person's account we're not able to get it. So we're actually building the one where a lot of people can actually get their hands on. Now if any of you guys do want any Ultimate Team, to, in, to, uh, uh, team coins to purchase any of the players you see in the team, make sure you check out onefifa.com. Their link is down below in the description. If you use discount code Bateson as well, you get to 5% off your Ultimate Team coins. They are reliable and instant. If you want any MSP, PSN codes or cheap game codes as well, make sure you check out g2a.com. Their link is also there. And if we can try and smash over 4,000 likes with Squad Builder, guys, that would be absolutely awesome. So it is going to feature... A lot of the legends, a lot of the English legends, and a lot of the team of the season players as well. So in net, we start off with if our first legend goalkeeper, which is the 88 rated David Seaman, the ex Arsenal legend. In the centre position on the left hand side, we go with team of the season John Terry, and in the middle, we go with another legend, which is Sol Campbell. Um, Look on paper, looks a solid uh, defence. 86, 89, and obviously uh, Tim K uh, Gary Cahill, sorry, does not make. I keep getting them two mixed up, don't know why. But Gary Cahill doesn't make it into the team because he is an 85 rated. In the right back position, we have 86 rated Gary Neville, one of the most attacking fullbacks I have ever used on the game, uh, even worse than Danny Alves. In the left back position, we have team of the season Baines from Everton as well, um, the second highest rated defender in that lineup. So that's the defence. Looks good on paper and the same with the goalkeeper as well. Moving on to the CDM role on the left hand side we have team of the season Stevie G uh, obviously from Liverpool and I think he possibly could get downgraded next year who knows. In the other, I'm actually going to set up the parameters now as well, in the other position we have uh, Jack Wilshire. You could have t uh, a few, there's a few 82 rated CM CDMs uh, but we went with Jack Wilshire because I do actually quite like using him. In the camp position we have uh, Wayne Rooney, 92 rated Cam, uh, solid, good, probably one of the best players I've used in the game at the cam position, but anywhere else he just seems to lack uh, lack quality. In the right cam position, we have Team of the Season Lalana, currently uh, at Southampton on this card, but he is actually a Liverpool player now, but he obviously doesn't have a Team of the Season card there. In the striker position, we have two legends to finish off this team, guys. On the right hand side, we went with Gary Lineker, the Walkers. Uh, well, the Walker's ambassador, really, and he sells Chris, his match day presenter as well. Uh, and looks a pretty decent card. 82 pace, 82 shooting, and 79 drilling as well, 80 heading. On the left hand side to finish off this team, guys, we have Michael Owen. 89 pace, 88 rated, 81 shooting, and 85 dribbling. Every time I usually come up against Michael Owen, I get completely dicked. But unfortunately, with this team, I was unable to do that, and I will explain to you in a moment why. So, guys, that is the best possible team for England available to you on FIFA 14 Ultimate Team after the team of season and international man of matches were released. Obviously, no English players did get any international man of matches because of how much of an awesome World Cup we had. So, drop a like rating, guys. Subscribe if you are not subscribed. And let's get into the highlights we did manage to get with this team in Division 1. Now, English teams. On paper, they look good. Like, this team looks good on paper. But... It is absolutely horrendous to play with. The best English players on Ultimate Team are the ones which are actually the cheap, sweaty ones, like the likes of Andy Cavill, Sturridge. Um, you've got Sterling as well, uh, Theo Walcott, and uh, obviously the best one is Walker. Now, this team played absolutely shocking for me. I don't know whether it was the 4-2-2-2 formation or the fact we were absolutely having a bad day, but I doubt it was down to that. Just everything was going against me, and we did manage to get uh, two wins out of the Five games we played which is pretty horrendous and the other games we got completely pumped because the defence seemed to open up wider than the hooker's legs in Amsterdam so the players which stand out on this team Wayne Rooney not worth 1.5 million coins but he is up there one of the best uh, cams in the game Lalana, he's a cheapy cheapishy uh, and he does alright for an 84 rated and also John Terry I like him and Leighton Baines now the legends in this team let me down immensely I have never used Sol Campbell before until now now, and he was absolutely shocking. Gary Neville, absolutely shocking. Seaman could not save absolutely anything. Michael Owen, 
let down. He gets pushed off the ball well too easily. But if you are breaking free of him, he's uh, one of the best. Stevie G uh, is not bad for shooting, but them CDM seem to push up. So it's like a 4-0-4-2 formation where you're left with four cams. But Jack Wilshere, when he gets into attacking positions, is one of the best in the game. So, guys, that was the best possible England team available to you on FIFA 14 Ultimate Team. Really hope you've enjoyed it. Leave me some comments down below of what teams you want to see me build in the future. I am going to start going back to clubs next weekend just because of the summer transfers and whatnot. So subscribe for more awesome FIFA 14 content. Drop a like rating and uh, we'll be back later with another video. So thanks very much and see you all later. Bye-bye. Today, I have got, a, well, I may as well admit it, I've got an addiction to Counter-Strike Global Offensive. It's a game on Steam and uh, someone stupidly told me that there is packs in this.